what is migration migration is the movement of people from one area to another in order to settle pay keen attention to settling because if a person is staying in the area for less than a year that's not really and truly migration it has to be more than a year because if it's less than a year it's usually considered as close to what tourism is so they have to be living in an area for it to be considered migration there are several causes of migration and these causes will put them into two categories which are push and pull factors good so push factors are conditions that exist in an area that causes people to want to leave so think about some things that might be happening in an area that might cause people to want to leave that area to go somewhere else in order to live right some of these push factors when it would include lack of modern infrastructure so things like schools road road sorry green spaces access to proper health care so if there's a lack of infrastructure proper infrastructure or modern infrastructure it would want to contribute to people actually leaving that area good there might be religious prosecution persons might be be, be be prosecuted because of their religious beliefs right we see this happening in lots of countries where muslims are persecuted in some countries christians are persecuted in some countries rastafarians are persecuted so if there are religious persecution or there is religious persecution then that might cause people to want to leave other factors include low wages right jobs are available but the salaries are pretty low that also might cause people to want to leave lack of jobs if there aren't any jobs and there are high levels of unemployment that also might cause people to want to leave if there is limited educational recreational and cultural facilities then that also might cause people to want to leave if there is high levels of crime and violence that might also cause people to leave so those are the push factors other causes of migration include pull factors these are the conditions that exist in countries that might cause people to want to go and settle there so these are usually good things while in comparison the push factors are negative things the pull factors are good things are positive things that might attract people to come and live in that area or country so some of these things could be the opposite of the push factors so if there are modern infrastructure good social cultural amenities and facilities educational opportunities access to food high paying jobs availability of jobs in general right so those things might cause people to want to go there to live and if you can come up with other push and pull factors on your own you can put them in the comment section because that would be good as well all right so there are several types of migration there is internal migration which is usually rural to urban migration rural to rural migration you have urban to rural migration and you have urban to urban migration those are the various types of internal migration or domestic migration then there are two types of external migration good we have regional migration that is someone moving from one area to the next within their own geographic region for example somebody moving from jamaica to cuba that would be considered regional integration regional migration sorry because they are moving within their own geographic area good then now we have international migration that is someone leaving from their place of abode to go somewhere else to live outside of their geographic region for example somebody moving from jamaica to live in england that is an example of international migration okay i'm realizing that i didn't give any examples for the types of internal migration so rural to urban is moving from a quote-unquote country area to a town area somewhere that is more developed than the area that you are leaving from so in jamaica rural to urban would be somebody leaving from say 
Moko in Clarendon coming to live in Portmore, so that's rural to urban. Then we have rural to rural, so leaving from a less developed area to go somewhere else that is also less developed. So moving from country to country. So somebody moving from, say, Moko going to Santa Cruz, right, in St. Elizabeth. That's rural to rural. Then we have urban to rural. For example, leaving from Kingston to go and live in Cave Valley. That is urban to rural. Then we have um, urban to urban. So somebody leaving from Portmore to go and live in Kingston. Or leaving from Portmore to go and live in Montego Bay. Good. So those are examples of the type of migration. Good. Migration has both positive and negative impacts. Right? Positives would include introduction of new skills to the host country, right? There's also an introduction of new types of culture. Persons who go somewhere else to live also contribute to the development of the economy because they either go there to work or, or they start their own businesses. And we know that government gets revenue from that in terms of direct taxation or indirect taxation as well. Negative, some areas might become overcrowded and then contribute to overpopulation. And we know that overpopulation comes with all types of problems, right? Because with overpopulation, there's usually poor sanitation, the breeding of rodents, right? Rats, roaches, mosquitoes, and we know that all the types of illnesses that can come from the breeding of rodents, right? Usually in overpopulated areas, there's high levels of crime and violence. Diseases are usually easily spread, especially if they're airborne or waterborne diseases, right? So these are some of the impacts of migration.